Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. This video is what's worked in the past is probably not going to work in the future. We have to just adjust now or suffer later. Why? Because of the AI. The artificial intelligence is taking over everything. They can sing like you. They can do anything you can do. A lot of robots are going to be replacing human labor. We know it. Look at the kiosks in Walmart. Um, our population is moving from like the here and now to a digital uh, focus. So people are on their phones all the time. I am so old. I can remember when we had a party line. And it, can you imagine if cell phones had party lines? They'd be in, in, they'd be killing each other for use of their phones. Okay, we're moving towards 15 minute cities. That means they want us all like in big cities. Everything will be within walking distance. There will be less, less cars, will be more controlled. The cities will be quiet. There will be, it reminds me of like, you hear these uh, videos 20 years and back, and they were like in some kind of terrarium. It's gonna be kind of like that. Less cars. I like my car. Possibly the cars are going to become unaffordable. Less meat. Okay, you guys, we, we all know they want us to eat less meat. They're giving us all kinds of alternatives. Uh, I read that uh, McDonald's uh, is selling as many chicken sandwiches as beef sandwiches. Solution, grow plants. They're saying uh, younger people are more open to resale used items like non-food items like on offer up, a more communal type existence sharing of resources to save and saving on utilities and gasoline so okay we know we're moving in that direction there's nothing we can do about it so today so first thing is garden so today i got up and i thought you better go check your grapevine my my grapevine is two two branches with no leaves but what happened was 50 tomato plants have sprouted. So what I did was I threw a bunch of dirt in the corner and about a month ago, I, I spread it all over my, I have like flower beds, I have a small yard and tomato plants have sprouted. So I was very encouraged. I'm going to try to come up with some intelligent approach and I'm going to plant these soy pretty soon and these uh, wild tomatoes. And I put the tomatoes that were going in inside outside. I mean, they're growing in the wild. Okay, so that was an awesome surprise. Okay, food storage. Okay, what I wanna do now is I want to try to go as long as I can without spending money eating the food storage. But when I do uh, store food, I want to buy higher quality of food. So um, I mentioned to you guys that this month I bought a bag of uh, walnuts. I think it was about, how many pounds is this? Uh, two pounds. I think it was about $8.00. So you see nuts are almost the same price as a pound of meat. And then last month I bought peanuts and peanuts are good for making homemade peanut butter because you know what's in your peanut butter. And then last night I made um, almond milk. And so this is about a half a package. So one cup made four, four, um, cups of almond milk and I can't show you because they drank it so today I bought almonds now this time I got the almonds pretty cheap these were $3.99 and uh, I bought these solely so I could make almond milk so 
right now I want to adjust and sometimes I want to drink plant milk made by me. And so that was, okay, the almonds were uh, 10 ounces each, two for $7.98, $4.99 each. Um, Origin USA, I'm looking for that because I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be less easy to find. Then I bought uh, two bags, eight ounces each of pecans, Origin Texas. So I'm okay, that is good. Um, I'm not sure what I am going to do with the uh, pecans, but I'm probably going to put them like in banana nut bread or my applesauce bread. So, um, the pecans were $4.99 each, two for $9.98, $17.96. So that is about all I really needed, um, for my year supply. That's not enough months for that's not enough nuts from a year. That's about three months when you're eating them all the time. So, okay, today I was thinking about Soylent Green. Okay, it was a movie, and it was discovered at the end of the movie that when your life was over and you were old, you were the Soylent Green, <laughs> which is kind of a gruesome thought. But I thought, how about now just rejecting ground meat um, and grinding your own. You just cut it in little pieces and grind it in the blender. Uh, watching the quality. It's more expensive when you buy a big piece, but I think it's going to be safer. Just, I mean, just saying, you know, all these wars and all, and you know, we got China off the coast. What are they doing? <laughs> I don't trust them. Okay, now, 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 now. Okay, uh, saving money. So for the rest of the month, I'm basically not trying not to spend any money. Uh, for one thing, when you don't spend money, you avoid uh, paying sales tax on every little thing you buy. Uh, if you eat fast food and you say you eat it there, they charge you. But if you get it to go, they don't. And you're doing your own um, ordering by one of the bots. You know, don't think like the bots are going to be like um, Herman Munster. No, they're kiosks. Okay, so um, so we want to watch every little penny for for now on because chances are the cost of living is going to go up and up and up. And they've already told people people get ready for a lower standard of living. Okay, now, I am 69 years old. The average lifespan for a woman is 79 years old, so I have like 10 years left. So if I exercise and watch my diet, and I'm going through my life, and I have this one bad habit, not a few of them, but... One of them is Diet Coke. So after um, thinking about the Soylent Green, about that same time, they had aversion therapy. So I have a plan to give myself some aversion therapy. Okay, caffeine is not hard to quit. It's hard to stay off of, but it's only got a half-life of 19 hours. So for the next 19 hours, I plan on staying awake until tomorrow, and so by, I don't know, five or six, six tomorrow, it'll be 24 hours. And basically I am going to give myself a version. I'll be tired to the point that the withdrawal is minimum. So I think that'll work. So if I look very haggard tomorrow, you know what happened. I want it in my mind. You don't want to do this to yourself again. Okay, now. So thinking about meat, moving towards more um, plant food because the feed for the cattle could um, go up. Also, as they take us to a global market, um, you know, the food is going to go to the people who can afford to pay the most. So we're thinking about meat. So we're thinking about substitutes for meat would be dairy, 
like milk. So with your, your nuts are basically storable milk. But I also, uh, I also store milk. My favorite is canned milk, but I want to eat all the powdered milk I have first. Yogurt, if you have whole milk, you can make yogurt, you can make cheese, you can make butter. Um, if you get, you can make cottage cheese. And then if you have cream, uh, sour cream and uh, cream cheese, like tonight I was going to make, um, I was going to make some um, salmon balls and I can use cream cheese instead of eggs in that. So I'm looking for ways to replace meat to replace eggs, but eggs are a good replacement for meat. Okay, wheat is expensive and it's possible that wheat is, the price of wheat is going up. So I am trying to substitute some potato flakes and some oatmeal in place of wheat flour and um, also powdered milk. Like today I made fry bread and I added a quarter cup powdered milk to that. So that gives you a little bit more uh, volume to your loaf. Let's see if I can show you. Where did I put those? I think I have just enough left for a little batch of uh, peanut butter cookies. Uh, these are really good. These are fry breads. See how much more bulky they are when you use a little powdered milk? Oh, what I want to do is locate big bags of that kind of food. So, um, but the main one is soy. So that is why one of the things you want to grow indoors too is soy. I successfully grew those last year. This was very encouraging. Okay, so um, if you have soy, you can make tofu and soy and soy milk. And it's not hard to make. It's like the nut milks. You make it the same way, you just boil the soy, and then after you get the soy milk, you uh, use rice wine vinegar to coagulate it into like cheese, and you make tofu. So for the nuts, I'm going for almonds, walnuts, coconut, coconut milk in uh, cans, and pecans. Okay, at what point in history did people get milk from animals? 10,000 years ago. Animals were first milked 8,000 years ago, but nobody knows for sure. The Garden of Eden, they were eating fruit. And we always had, uh, they always, the way I always learn is fruit and herbs, but they've kind of deleted that out of the um, safari. It says, plants of many trees they're um saying that went from 8000 to 6000 years ago uh 200 year 2000 2, years bc uh noah was before that when it was the garden of eden they were eating plants up at 8 to 6000 years ago and then when noah came along 2000 BC, humans started eating meat, but there was a promise that it would shorten, shorten our lives. Okay, so now think about these substitutes for meat. meat. Okay, a lot of us add milk to tomato soup. Uh, you can add uh, milk to refried beans, uh, fry a little couple pieces of bacon, Remove the bacon, put the, um, a little piece of chorizo in your bacon fat. You can get soy chorizo. You can get non-meat bacon. It's just as expensive though. And then you fry the chorizo, being careful not to burn it. And then you put the refried beans and you stir those around and you start adding milk little by little. If you don't have cheese, you can make burritos. Macaroni and cheese. Cheese is a good substitute. You can uh, substitute cheese and olives or cheese and mushrooms, like in your enchiladas or your uh, spaghetti. Um, you can use your, your potato flakes and bread. Uh, peas and rice is a good combination. 
black beans, avocado, and salsa, chili with no meat, spaghetti with no meat, enchiladas. Okay, I've been doing these three veggie combos, which were sweet potatoes, uh, some vegetable and uh, potatoes, and that's good. Um, eggs and grits, uh, toast with eggs and pork and beans, and salmon bowls with fries. Okay, I'm not counting. I'm not counting uh, fishes as much as like uh, beefs and chicken because it's a big ocean, you know. Uh, sardines with three tablespoons sticky rice. Um, and just cook your rice down until it all the water is absorbed and then put one half cup coconut milk, added one half tablespoon of sugar and then put mango. So you have the, the, the rice, the coconut, the sugar and the mangoes with the sardines and that is a good combo. Tuna sandwiches, tuna casserole, grilled cheese, quesadilla, dia, quesadilla stuffed potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes um, stuffed with, uh, you can stuff sweet potatoes and potatoes with sour cream. So you're making your sour cream and uh, chipotle and lime and the sweet potatoes. Quiche, one half cup evaporated milk undiluted with one egg. So I usually use two eggs and one cup undiluted um Evaporated milk, I make a pie crust, I poke holes in it, I bake it 350 halfway, then I fill it. It can be vegetables with no meat. I usually put chicken in mine, chicken and broccoli, but you can use veggies and cheese, but um, then just pour your egg and your, um, your um, evaporated milk. Okay, um, so now if you're gonna stuff things and you have the sour cream and the cream cheese. Okay, uh, pancakes, chili fries. Uh, there's, okay, soy chorizo. You think it would be awful, but it's good. You can use that in your refried beans and, and cheese. Bean and and cheese burrito with Spanish rice, black bean burritos, French toast, egg salad sandwich, peanut butter sandwich, pizza, cheese, cabbage, zucchini, or bell pepper stuffed with rice, as opposed to, I usually stuff mine with, um, with meatloaf, but the rice would be rice and beans, onion, garlic, um, salt, pepper, tomato soup, and cheese, baked eggplant, Roast your eggplant first and then uh, dip it in flour, egg, and breadcrumbs, add spaghetti sauce, cheese, and bake, serve on pasta. So all of these are um, cheap ways to exist without um, milk. I mean without meat. Okay, now the seven cheapest meals when broke. Top ramen with egg and hot sauce, bean burritos, Okay, toast with pizza sauce and cheese and and broil in the oven. Macaroni and cheese, fried egg sandwich, and two pork sausages. Pork sausages are still pretty cheap. Uh, egg, potato, onion, and bell pepper uh, scramble. Sweet potato, chickpeas, and chorizo. Chorizo, a stir fry, um, scrambled eggs, cooked rice, green onions, peas and carrots, salt, pepper, and sugar, and soy sauce. Okay, now I have seven cheap meats. While well, we can still get them. We can pack our freezers. Hot dogs, bologna, chorizo, Vienna sausages, luncheon loaf from Dollar Tree, cans of tuna, and sardines. Also, you will notice, have you noticed like when you get a can of tuna, it's entirely different than those packets of tuna. No telling what those packets of tuna are. Um, I would say don't be overly trusting at this time and start saying to yourself, okay, okay, I see the direction they want us to go in and what it seems like I better do is try to hang on to as much of my money as I possibly can and 
I'll be, I'll tell you how the withdrawal off the Diet Coke so far I'm fine. <laughs> I'll tell you how it goes tomorrow. Uh, the only reason I'm quitting is because I don't have that many years left. So I have to be careful. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.